Hey, have you ever noticed at the top of your dashboard an alert that says update? Let's talk about it. Hey, welcome to another WordPress Wednesday. I'm Corey Ashton from Webtegrity and I want to help you today understand the methods of updating uh, all the different things that are required inside of WordPress, whether that's a plugin or the core of WordPress or also your theme. So let's walk through it. I'm going to show you kind of the process of each one. Here we go. So I think everybody kind of has their own opinion on how to do the updates and what order you should be doing them in, but I've done a lot of research and the best option that I can find is kind of what I'm going to show you here. Um, the very first step I need you to do, no matter what, hands down right now, is be sure to back up your website, right? You need to have, you know, Updraft Plus, we've mentioned that a couple of times here on WordPress Wednesday. You need to have some sort of system in place that you know for a fact that your website is backed up. So. If you have a hosting company, you've been able to contact them and ask them, do you guys do a, a backup? Is there some sort of a manual button that I can click? And be sure that it's not just your files, but also your database being backed up right now, especially if we're dealing with any sort of a WordPress core update, okay? So not all the time are you gonna log in and find something on your dashboard that says, hey, you need to update something. Nine times out of 10, it's just gonna be plugins that are requiring updates. It's super, 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 super important though that you keep everything up to date. A lot of things uh, can cause issues like security breaches. Um, you can have malware, spam crap thrown on your website if you're not uh, making sure that everything's up to date and compatible with not only browser versions but core uh, file versions as, as well as your theme, right? So three different things require updates inside of WordPress. And if there's one downside to WordPress, this is it. Um, your plugins will always require updates. Your theme might require updates. The times that it wouldn't is if it were uh, something that's maybe built from scratch for you, totally custom, and perhaps you know uh, there's not so much going on in it that it, it's requiring an update every single time. You know, plugins require updates. There's nothing deprecated. The code is still uh, workable. Um, but then also the WordPress core files themselves, what you did initially whenever you installed WordPress, those files themselves will require updates. So what we suggest you do is update your plugins first, then your theme, then your core. And what you're going to find is all of these things kind of have a ripple effect, a domino effect. They all kind of play to each other. One could break the other, the other could break the other. It, it can just happen that way. So what I want to do is kind of hopefully help you with a fail-proof system of, of making these updates happen without the fear and the crossing of the fingers to praying to God that it's going to actually work. Okay, so here we go. Very first step, again, back it up. Make sure you have a backup of not just your files, but your database. Number two, you want to update your plugins first, and I highly suggest doing this one at a time. The reason being is that um, if you do that bulk update, then you don't know which one may have broken your website. So we suggest you do an update to a plugin, then run over to the front side of the website and make sure that, that functionality still works. So if you've got the next gen gallery plugin and you do an update to it, go ahead and go to the front side of your website, dump your cache, dump your memory, and be sure to click refresh and see if that photo gallery is still working. You might even want to test it in another browser. Uh, so you'll do that with each one of your plugins and the way you do that is just by going to your, so you're in your dashboard area here, let me shrink down just a little bit, you're in your dashboard area here, you might see an update like here at the top that says 6, uh, you'll also see a number over here that says 5, so I know for a fact that I've got 5 plugins that need a little bit of love, they need some updating. So when you come in here you can see that I've got 10 active plugins, and scrolling down, you can obviously see the color differentiation and this notice right here stating that there's an update available for Yoast, for Gravity Forms, for my photo gallery, for Updraft Plus, and for my SEO plugin. So uh, going through here, you can make these changes again. Make sure that you have a backup in place, which we have done. And I will go ahead and click Update Now. Um, if you have a system in place, if you're being hosted on WP Engine, an alert might pop up that says, hey, Hold on, are you sure you've done a backup of this before you do this? And you can just say, yes, I've already done a backup, no worries, proceed. Or that's a good warning to make sure that you've done that backup. So um, I, it says that's been reenacted uh, successfully, everything's good. You can see here that's good. So we'll go to the front side of the website and just make sure that anything to do with my gravity forms um, is working properly. So uh, I don't even know 
what I'm using Gravity Forms for on this website. It might be some sort of a uh, question. Yeah, I think it's our Ask a Question area. Let's see if that's correct. We might have a form in that page where you can fill out things. Uh, uh, of course we do. Uh, so here we are. So, uh, and you might want to just run a quick test and be sure that that's able to be submitted, but at least it's viewable, that's great. Run a test and be sure if all that works, then you'll go through these step-by-step, plug-in-by-plug-in, making sure, update, then go test it, okay? So, um, the other thing you can do now is um, update your theme. So if you're using a free theme or possibly a paid theme, a premium theme, you more than likely will have the author send you notification that your theme needs to be updated. Um, that can, let's go to the dashboard here really quickly and go to the themes area. You might be able to see this, um, you know, I've got all these up to date right now, but you might be able to see an area here that says that they need to be updated. Um, if you go to your updates area underneath your dashboard area, you might see uh, a list here as well. It says right now my, all my themes are up to date. Um, if, you're, if your current theme that you are using requires an update, you need to be sure that you've not manipulated any of the PHP files. And if you don't know what that means, don't worry then, that means you probably haven't gotten into those files. If you do know what that means, you better be sure that you've got a child theme in place to back all this stuff up, right? Um, so what you want to do is, you know, you've got a couple options here as to what you could do. Um, let me go back here really quickly. Get back to our, let me go here. Here you go. Um, just so you see the list here really quickly. So update your theme. Now what I've listed here is either in the dashboard or via FTP. Um, if your author, if, if you're using a free theme from the repository of WordPress, more than likely you'll be able to go to your dashboard area and click update and you won't lose your customization, especially if your author has uh, written, you know, if, if this theme is kind of new, maybe the last year or two, it's, it's brand new. Um, if you have purchased a theme, maybe from Theme Forest, you might want to go over to Theme Forest, download the core files there of your theme, and possibly upload these via FTP. Um, I, I don't have the means to show you the FTP route um, on this video, it would take way too long. But if you have that ability, what I would suggest you doing is opening up your documentation for your theme and following the instructions that every author puts in there for updating your theme, all right? Most important step, obviously, is backing everything up. Second step is making sure that you have some sort of a, a child theme in place if you've done any sort of special customization beyond what the author has just allowed you to kind of click through, okay? Once all that's done, obviously you want to test again your website. You want to make sure that all your plugins are still working. You want to make sure that your website functions well across all uh, browsers and across all devices, meaning cell phones and iPads, all sorts of fun stuff like that. When the fun time comes that WordPress releases a core update for WordPress itself, we just recently went to 4.0.1. Um, when that happens, very typically a ripple down effect will take place. If a core has been updated, if the core of WordPress has been updated, then very typically they'll send out notification to all the theme builders, hey, be sure that you're compatible still because people are have to upgrade to 4.0.1. So that domino effect might happen. We've got WordPress core needs updating, now your theme needs updating, now your plugins need updating. Um, but thankfully WordPress has uh, the ability to go in and do, uh, you know, if we were in uh, our dashboard area, let me scroll up here for a second, if we were in the dashboard area and you were to see um, you know, up here at the top that your core needs to be updated, it says, you know, hey, a new WordPress version is available, update now. There's a one-click update, so that's typically pretty easy but you certainly want to test again and be sure that nothing has been broken because of that upgrade, okay? Um, also, this is a quick note because uh, we learned this lesson the hard way. Be sure that your Google Analytics code is still working after you've done all these updates, especially if you'd gone in and happened to drop in that Google Analytics code into your header file. They very easily could have been overridden, uh, disappeared on you. So be sure that that code is still working. Uh, you can test that typically by going to the front side of your website and uh, doing a, a view page source and doing a quick search for your UA number. And let's see if I can get this to you where you can actually see it uh, right here. So there's your UA number and, and now you know for a fact, okay, good, uh, my code is still working. You can also go to your Google Analytics dashboard and just make sure that uh, the site is still collecting data for you. 
And again, you want to test across all browser and all, all devices. So uh, there's a lot to this, but I'm also going to put a link um, on this blog article and in the description of uh, the or in the description area for the video uh, to this detailed page, step by step by step by step by step on how to update manually. So this is especially important if you are jumping from like version 3.0. 0.2 really old and you're skipping a bunch of versions and coming to you know you've you've not updated in forever in other words and all of a sudden you're trying to move up to like you know 4.0.1 you really might run into some serious issues so I want you just to pay close attention to the details here um, pay close attention to this video be sure you have a backup in place and if you have no other help and things are still broken or you're concerned about any of this, please be sure to give us a, a call or shoot us an email. We'd love to help you. Hey, so I hope that helps you. And I also want to give you another resource for you. If you're in the local San Antonio area, be sure to check out our free meetup group for WordPress nerds just like me. You'll find a couple of us there that are a little bit more advanced and you might find some other beginners that you can kind of get in the rhythm uh, with them and, and kind of learn as you go together. It's, it's always fun. And if you're not in the San Antonio area, be sure to check out Meetup anyway because you're gonna probably find one that's close to your area. If you have any questions about WordPress, be sure to tweet us. I'll put the information in the description box below. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye, y'all. Hey, everybody. Videos are a great resource for learning, but there's nothing better than learning in person from WordPress experts. We offer a beginner's course and an advanced track that can teach you everything you want to know about WordPress. Our classes start soon, so head over to webtegrity.com and register today.